Uh, but this is Astro Pettit, and I'm Astro Mike, and this is the ISS, ISS Mailbag. Mailbag. Uh, my eight, you, my eight. Maybe it's son. this kid. No, but yeah, my eight yo here. son asks, "Do you play any kind of games, video or?" Yo games? means year old, apparently. Eight year old. So. Oh yeah, that's yeah, a right. text. Do you, I'm sorry. What, what's the question? Uh, do, do you play any kind of games? Uh, when you're dip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. when you have time, in space, when yeah. you have extra time. Yeah. When, when, oh, it says you played some games, uh, didn't you? When experiments you, are done. You're a chess player. You played. You played chess. I, I know that. Chess, right? What uh, else? Uh, uh, yeah, Is that I, your first time? You made your own chess set. Didn't you make your own, like, zero-gravity chess yeah, set? Yeah, yeah, I made a zero-gravity chess set and, and flew it up in my uh, personal kit. Yeah. But, and, and I was playing uh, various games. We'd play by email, okay? The, uh, the, the chess? Yeah, the chess. So I'd make maybe one to two moves a week. Uh huh. So it's a pretty slow move. Seems like that's kind of slow. I mean, yeah. I know chess is slow. I'm more of a checkers kind of guy. Yeah. But chess is pretty, but that's really slow chess. Yeah, that's really slow chess. Like the little timers, you're going to play with the timer, and they make a move, yeah. and they hit the timer, and they Yeah, in this case, the timer would have to be a timer measured yeah, in Yeah, you've got a long but, timer. But anyway, uh, do we do video or non-video? We've got the capability to do that if you have an interest. However, most crew members, if you've got off-duty time, you have this amazing collection of windows called the cupola to look out and yeah. all kinds of cameras to take pictures of Earth and surrounding Earth. So you need to decide, do I play video games, which I could do on Earth, or do I do something in space with my off-duty time that you totally cannot do when you're on Earth? And, and I, I gravitated towards things that I could only do on Space Station in my off-duty time. And, and I'll watch movies and play games and things like that uh, and sleep mm -hmm. after I get back to Earth. I, I agree. Looking out the window is the best. But the guys on the station now have this game. There was a video game. That you like, you're shooting things in this. You're trying to get things through a hoop or something in the in the space station. So these guys, the, our friends, you know, Mike yeah, Koichi yeah, and yeah. Rick, uh, recreated this game in space where they put a drill and, and they they got this is the use of the power tool. They they put a, they put a hoop on the end of a drill and they had the the, the thing moving like this oh, way. Yeah. And they set up. I guess they must use a theraband or something. They set up some kind of bungee kind of oh, that you uh, catapult. Shoot. Sort of thing. Yeah, so they would, so what they were like a slingshot, right? Uh -huh. So they, I don't know what they, I think they were using a, I think they had some kind of, I don't know if they used a ball, a ball of socks or what they were using, but they, they had some kind of, so they were like doing, and so as this thing's rotating, oh, they try they to hit it? you get it through the hoop. Oh, wow. Get it through the hoop. So they set up that game. Uh, they, they don't have enough to do. So. You do something, and that's what I think so that is. Human sometimes. beings are naturally curious, and, yeah. and you can't work all the time, but, and when you do have some moments of off duty time, uh, you need to be allowed to do whatever the environment will right. offer. And play, playing it's, a little game yeah, is, as a yeah. group is kind of a yeah. fun thing it's, to do. It's, it's, it's uh, yeah. okay to do that. Ar Ario Bimo H. Arden has, a, has, a, has another question. It's, how does docking work and what comes next after contact? So, oh. so for docking, there's different ways to dock. Yeah. But we're talking about the getting the. I think we're talking about getting the pressurized volumes connected. Or, uh, or, or a spacecraft visiting. Let's talk about vehicle. a visiting vehicle coming to space station, and it's got to dock. So, so right? for what we used to do in the when we had a like on Hubble, and what you do with some of your visiting vehicles, you grab them with the robot arm. And then And on Hubble, we in. we didn't have a pressurized connection, so we would just put it on a on a servicing platform yeah. and lock it down with latches yeah. and then attach power. Yeah. So it was kind of a very easy, like lowering it into position and then throwing latches, yeah. but we didn't have a connection, yeah. uh, a pressurized connection, so we could float in there. Yeah. So you, uh, on, say, station. on station, it was a different experience. Yeah. You might still grab it with the robot on right. or you might have an automatic docking yeah. system. And then what happens once you Okay, once you actually get the, get the surfaces together, there's either clamps or bolts. Mm -hmm. that are driven by motors and and the clamps are, are like hooks and they go and then they grab like that all the way around this hatch. Mm -hmm. They or, make that noise too. They Even do. though you can't hear it in space. Yeah. Uh, or, or you have a bolt that is driven by a motor and 
and you drive bolts in through the hatch to through the docking ring and there are seals usually two seals and then once we're all bolted together then we do pressure checks we even do a pressure check this between is important the two seals you don't want any leaks because because one one of the seals might be leaking and you wouldn't see it from inside station, but if you have a means of measuring the pressure between the two seals, then you can tell if one of the seals isn't sealing correctly. And this is, this is a big deal because you're, you have to keep your pressure, your atmosphere inside of your spacecraft intact. Oh, you do? Because yeah. you're, that's what's keeping you yeah. alive. Yeah. And a and small so leak you... over many months. Say you have a, a, a Soyuz spacecraft docked to station, it's going to be docked there for six months. And if it had just a little tiny leak, yeah. you might be leaking effectively uh, hundreds of kilograms of air overboard that you have to make up with another vehicle bringing it to, uh, from Earth. So, so this, is, this, is, this is a big so, deal. This, so this is why it takes. Deal. And that's you're, why you're, you want to make sure you have very slow leak rates right. when two vehicles come down. And I'm kind of amazed at how often those those birthing mechanisms are used. You're over and over, you open and yeah. close and open and close yeah. and open and close. And, uh, and seldom do we have any kind of failure. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing piece of engineering that, that is very robust and it works really, really well. Yeah, I mean, it isn't, well. isn't like opening a garage door and putting a car away. No. This is make because you're... You're making a connection. You're adding on. You're really adding on to your yeah. spaceship, yeah. and you cannot have a leak between that interface. Yeah. And when you use things, generally, when you tend to use things over and over again, they wear out. That's right. But these things have been yeah, very, yeah. very and, reliable. And both the Russian docking systems and the NASA docking systems, and the ones made by yeah. JAXA and by uh, ESA, uh, these things have been uh, incredibly robust. Uh, how, how long do the how long do the sur the uh, supply ships? Stay? You said well, Soyuz of course is six months. What about yeah. progress? progress is, ATV is about three or four months. Three or ATV four months. ATV is three or four months. HTV is maybe two months. What about the American ones? Uh, Dragon is about a month. Cygnus is about a month. So Don, that wraps up this next. We've had a bunch of mailbag episodes here yes. based on another round of questions that we got. Good and, questions. And, and now our editors have gotten around to the to finishing all the editing, and we're out of questions. So we're going to have to do this again sometime. We're going to have to do so. Stay tuned out there. We're going to send out another note. We'll probably do this sometime soon, hopefully, where we're going to solicit more questions from you. Yeah. But these for, are excellent questions. For the ISS mailbag. For the ISS mailbag.